Hello and welcome to another class of ABM Neural Science. This is Amishak with you. So today I'll be talking or uh, I'll give you a mnemonics about a very conflicting and memory uh, utilizing thing that is the bacterial names which are medically very important. So I'll tell you the trick or uh, the ways where you can easily remember the different classes of bacteria which are medically very very important for your study. So this will help you in different exams in your future. So let's start. So I've divided the bacteria in different categories. As you know, that is anaerobic, anaerobic, aerobic, or facultative anaerobes. So here, cocky and rods and gram staining also. I have not written that gram staining. I will tell you. So here, all the things you are saying is gram positive. So I have divided it totally. That is gram positive. All the bacteria which I have written here. Now, first one is the aerobic cocky, or you can say the facultative anaerobes, cocky. Here I will give the word stress positive. So you remember like aerobic cocky or facultative anaerobic cocky, which are gram positive as stress positive. Stress easily can understand that streptococcus and staphylococcus. So stress will be the chosen word to remember. Next one is the Anaerobic or facultative anaerobic rods. So this was cocky and now this is rods. So here you can see that mycobacteria, cornibacterium, bacillus, listeria, and nocardia. So this is a complicated uh, list which will be simplified by a simple word that is mycobacteria. So you are either will be doctor or some kind of research activity. So just think it is as an antibody. It's not a, any kind of antibody present in the market. It is the name chosen by me. So I am telling you to just memorize it simply as the name of antibody. Suppose that is mycobacteria. So mycobacteria, you can understand here, mycobacteria, cordybacteria, bacillus, listeria, and nocardia. Mycobacterium positive. Why positive? That is all the bacteria are gram positive. So you will remember as a facultative anaerobic rods as mycobacterium positive. So easily you can remember with one word all the names of the bacteria. Next I'll go for the anaerobes which are gram positive. So here you can see the lactobacillus, propionibacterium, clostridium, eubacterium and actinomyces. So here is the word of interest is the lepro. So, leprosia, it's not a disease condition or a symptom, but you can memorize it like a disease symptom. So, it will be easy to remember about the word that is leprosia. So, lactobacillus, probionibacterium, clostridium, eubacterium, and actinomyces. So, leprosia is the chosen word positive, leprosia positive. So, just three words and several bacteria. Stress positive, mycobacterium positive, leprosia positive, and all the gram positive bacteria which are medically important are covered. So I think it will be very, very useful for you in the exams. Now I'll go for the gram negative section where there are several bacteria. So these are the list of gram negative bacteria. I have one more list of gram negative bacteria as it is a vast section. Gram negative covers the most variety of sections and most pathogenic bacteria. So one more few bacteria are left. I'll, I'll be writing here after that. So here I have written the aerobic cocky, aerobic rods, uh, microaerophilic bacteria, and facultative aerobic rods. So what are you can see here that several bacteria. So what are the trick? What is the word? So the word here is for one by one. I'm telling you that is for aerobic cocky. You remember as nemo. Nemo negative. So you just remember Arabic cocky, Nemo negative. Nemo is a popular film, is there. You can remember with the help of that also. So Arabic rods, here you can see uh, Pseudomonas, Legionella, Brucella, Bordetilla, Franciella. So this is a vast section of gram negative bacteria. can be named as here two words I'll be giving you. Pseudo negative. 
So you do frivol ID. Frivol is a word which has a meaning of not performing or not comfortable like that. So pseudo frivol is the word which you'll be using here. So you can make it uh, this B as a large one. So you can see here pseudo, you can understand pseudomonas, legionella as L, brucella B, bordetella B, and francisella. So here we have covered the section of all these aerobic rods which we named as pseudo frivol negative so for aerobic cocky neo negative or pseudo uh, sorry for aerobic aerobic rods that is pseudo frivol the next one is the helical micro aerophilic bacteria which will get lesser amount of oxygen but not the aerobic condition or anaerobic condition they cannot tolerate aerobic condition that's why they need a very little amount of oxygen concentration so two vectors are there campylobacter and heli Cobacter, you can remember this as a helicamp, and you can remember helicamp negative. So, helicopter camp, you can just remember like that. So, helicamp negative is for the helical microbiotic bacteria. Next one is the facultative anaerobic rods. Okay, so here is anaerobic rods, there are the facultative anaerobic rods. So, here I will be giving you three words to remember. Because this is a first list that is a 12 bacteria present in this group that will give you a three word uh, section. So I'll be wiping this thing so that I can write properly. So remember as KBP cheese. Negative. So, what's KBB is the saw uh, where the pie is very popular, cheese pie is very popular. You can remember like that, which is uh, negative. So, these are all gram negative bacteria, that's why negative. So, Nemo negative, then uh, pseudo triple negative, the helicam negative, and now it is KBP is cheese pie is negative. So, you can see here easily. Clebsiella, Librio, Proteus, Seracea, Citrobacter, Hemophilus, Escherichia coli, Enterobacter, Salmonella, Pasturella, Y for Yersinia. Here E is nothing for, for your ease, I am writing that one. And S is for Sigella. So KVP is cheese file. All the things are covered here. KVP is cheese file. Thank you. So the next section of ground negative bacteria are anaerobic, anaerobic straight and uh, helical rods, rickettsia as a group, chlamydia group, chlamydia as a group. So these are the ground negative groups which are present also, which are medically important also. So here you can see Trevonema, Borrelia, Leptospira, which are anaerobic straight to helical rods, can be remembered as tree ball. Negative. So you can easily remember as tree, tree, ball, that is wooden ball. As a wooden ball, you can remember it, tree ball, treponema, borrelia, and leptospira. Okay, negative. Negative for gram stain, gram stain, negative. Gram negative bacteria. Next one is the Ricket CSC group. Here you can see Alicia, Ricket CA, Oxyella, and Bartonella. So these are critical names which is very difficult to remember. So here I have given you two words. Ericobar negative. Ericobar, suppose it's the name of a bar, you can remember like that, it's the name of a bar. Ericobar, here E for Elysia, then Ricketsia, then Coxiella, and Bartonella for bar. So it will be easy to remember. Chlamydia C group, it is also ground negative, uh, stain ground negative, but here chlamydia is only the present, so you don't need any tricks for that. And the last but not the least is the non gram stain bacteria, which cannot be stained with gram stain, like crystal and saffronin. It will be not stained because they don't have a proper cell wall, so it cannot be stained because gram stain is used for staining of cell wall. So here you can use. Though it's not so equal, but I have given you 
my urea negative. So my urea negative for mycoplasma and ureoplasma. That is the tricks for all the charts I have given you. Now I will summarize one thing in one sentence so for ease of your remembrance. So here I have made you very easy to write down or to memorize it. So you can see here that is aerobic of key, you have to remember stress positive, facultative, anaerobic or anaerobic rods, you have to remember mycobacterial positive, anaerobic rods, you have to remember leprosia positive, for gram negative, you have to remember aerobic cocky, nemo negative, aerobic rods, pseudo fiddle, microrephilic for helicamp, negative, facultative anaerobes for KBBs, cheese pies, and anaerobic strip helical rods. Here, two sections are there. So that's why they get say group and that uh, preliminary group that is three ball. And last one you know that is non gram stem that is my urea negative. So if you like my classes, give a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe my channel because these things stimulate me to take futuristic classes for you guys. So thank you and be with me.